Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Um, right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just having a look at um, sort of where things are on my iPad and I will be right with you. So in today's video, I'm going to be going live, obviously, and making my bar. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera. If not, I will adjust it in just a second. Uh, I'm going to be cladding the archway. So I've got an archway over the bar at the moment. Um, let me just load up on YouTube kind of where I am, what I'm doing, and then I can see the chat and stuff like that and interact with you guys, which will be lovely. Uh, making a man cave bar live. That's me. Yay. Cool. Right. So I've got you on here, which then means it's kind of awesome, actually. Uh, I can I can talk to everybody. Hopefully there will be at least some people rocking up here. I know this is a very impromptu thing. What I'm going to ultimately do is to edit this into a video so that you can see me sort of, I'll probably time lapse it or something, and then you can see me doing it. Now I'm just going to go on the other side of the camera so that hopefully you can uh, sort of see what's going on. So up here, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Okay, so um, we've got all of this cladding here. I'm going to carry that on along there. So before I do that, though, over on this section, I'm going to be using these planks of wood that I have carved already and painted already. And um, I just need to trim them to the right size. I also probably need to paint them up a little bit more, um, especially this one, actually, because it doesn't seem to be the right color. Um, and then I'll put it all over the top. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is basically foam, and I have um, I've carved it uh, using a number of different techniques and uh, make it look like wood texture, essentially. Hey, now there are two people watching, apparently, so if you are here, uh, and you are, because otherwise you wouldn't be talking, you wouldn't be seeing me talk, um, say hello, and then I'll shout you out, which would be lovely. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. I know it seems a little bit random that it's going to be all sort of witchcrafty, um, but that's what we do here. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fun. And you never know, we may even get some regulars here. I've um, basically broken up for Christmas now from my actual job, because this isn't my actual job. YouTube's just a bit of fun, really. Um, now, I've got something called... Uh, Sticks like SH asterisk T. Now you can probably work out what that is, but it's a family channel, so I'm not going to say it. Um, it's kind of like a no more nails substitute. And um, all you do, you just basically glue stuff together. This stuff really does stick like you know what. Um, and it bonds the basically plastic foam to whatever I want it to stick to. So up above the bar here, I've got some painted wood. Um, the reason I use wood on this and not plasterboard, actually, is because it's going to need to bear some weight. So I've screwed up, I've screwed some uh, wood to, um, to the ceiling up there. And it's ultimately going to be holding glasses in a rack. So I'll show you that in just a second when I get to doing that bit. Uh, I'm just going to put the lid back on here. I'm going to probably put the lid back on and take it off and put it on and take it off quite a lot because I don't want it dripping all over the place. This stuff isn't particularly, pardon me, spitting all over the place. This stuff isn't particularly sticky, uh, isn't particularly expensive, but it is really sticky and it does get everywhere. Um, and it oozes out quite a lot. So I've got a little hook on the side of my bar just there. So I'm going to put the gun down there. Um, Okay, so next thing, because this stuff kind of oozes about quite a lot, I'm just going to sort of move any excess to a place that it's not going to be seen. A lot of this is based on illusion, and so I don't want um, the white glue to be visible when you actually look at the bar. So I'm just going to paint in the black areas. Um, and this is one of the things that I'm going to be doing as I as I break down um, as I break down these planks into sort of half planks. 
I'm going to be painting the edges and stuff like that. So I'll just adjust this again. Okay. Hopefully like that now you can see. And you should be able to see me as well. Over on the iPad over here. Um, hello, there are three people, two people now. Um, just say hello. If you're there, say hello in the chat. Um, it's lovely to see people. So I've got this plank here. I'm just going to measure it up. And all you do is literally just oh, measure it like that and then snap it off. It's not particularly difficult. <laughs> but it's a nice way of sort of cladding this thing so it looks... The whole idea, in case you haven't been here before, is that this is a magical pub. Um, so this man cave is going to be based on kind of Harry Potter, I suppose, um, which is probably why you can see a lot of skulls and uh, pumpkins and things like that in the background. So the whole idea really is that uh, that's that's what it's all about, really. I'm just going to turn up the volume on my iPad. I want to make sure that my microphone is working. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Cool. Um, so. I'll get out the sticks like you know what again. Oh, there's some Red Bull flying all over the place. Remember, this is a bar, so there's going to be drinks around. Um, if you haven't been here before, by the way, please like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff, because there's going to be a lot more of this sort of content going on fairly soon. Um, maybe not actually building the bar, but maybe using it and making cocktails and things like that. So... If that's the sort of thing you want to see, then please do like and subscribe. This is going to be a reasonably long uh, live stream today, I think, because I want to get this finished. And uh, I want to put up the glasses rack as well. It's going to be fairly fast uh, to actually get a decent finish. Um, I've also got on the other side here, I've got some sockets, which I'm not going to show you on this live stream, I don't think, because they're not connected, first of all. Um, I've clad up to here on this side and up to here, you know, underneath. Um, so what I want to do is to get it all the way across so that I can then put up the glasses rack or the glasses holder. And then I can put the glasses up and then move them basically from under here um, and under here as well. And then I'll have a bit more room to do the electric work and put these sockets actually live, make them live. So that'd be cool. Um, okay. There are people watching, which is nice, but you're not saying anything in the chat. So I'm going to refresh it in a second just to make sure I'm not missing anything. But hopefully, um, if you are here, you can you can say hello and it'll be, it'll be all nice and cosy. It's coming up for Christmas. I always like to... Uh, to give a little bit more to people around Christmas time, if I can. Whoops. Right, that one's broken at a bit of a weird angle, but hey-ho. So this is what I'm talking about, where that grey edge here, hopefully you can see that, that grey edge, I'm just going to paint that uh, black, so that then if anybody does see this, or if it sort of peeks through or anything, it'll be black, and you won't be able to see anything. So that's kind of cool. Um, right, now the next one is, it goes up here, I'm going to need to stick it obviously, but then that one can go there, oops, and the good thing about this as well is because, because it's supposed to be quite rough, it doesn't need to be perfect, in fact it's, it's much much better if it isn't perfect, a rock has just fallen on my foot, um, the rock I actually use for texturing all this stonework at the back here, um, which again probably isn't going to be picked up particularly well on the camera, but um, you, you can just trust me that this is all textured uh, foam to make it look like rock. It's kind of like a film set, and I know this as a, as a man cave concept is a bit of a weird one, <laughs> um, but the whole idea is that this is a wizard pub, and so... I'm trying to make the archway look like it's you know, clad with uh, old style, like really, really old um, wood. Now, the problem is, because it's, so, it's been really cold out here, like it's gone down to sort of minus three outside, 
Um, the inside is insulated, but it's not heated at the moment because the electrics have been largely off. Um, so it has been pretty cold out here, which the problem with that is that it means uh, the glue, sorry, the uh, paint doesn't dry very quickly. It does dry eventually, but it just doesn't dry very quickly, which means that if you if you do something like at night, like I did last night, I was uh, out here painting these um, planks thinking, well, I'll be prepared for tomorrow. <laughs> nope, because they haven't dried. <laughs> I think if it was maybe even 10 degrees warmer, it would certainly dry a lot quicker. But yeah, they just don't dry out here very quickly. I could take them inside, but we've only fairly recently got our kitchen back from being absolutely stacked out with stuff. So for those of you who don't know as well and or haven't been here before, um, I write books and I write cocktail books and recipe cards and stuff like that. That's some of the stuff that's at the back here. So the potion is magical cocktail cards. I'm not going to try and flog them on this live stream. That's not what this is all about. But um, because I've got all of those sorts of things and cocktail books and things like that, I've been um, stacking my kitchen pretty high with boxes and we've only just got the kitchen back. So I don't really want to put all these planks out in the kitchen because otherwise, what's the point in clearing the kitchen, you know? Uh, okay, so where's that go? That one goes there. Not like that. I might even show you how to um, carve this foam a bit later on if you're interested. If anyone wants to see anything in particular, by the way, please do put something at, down in the chat. Um, I can see that there are more people now uh, joining, so it'd be quite nice if I could say hello to you. I don't know who's actually watching, so if you're watching and you are, um, then say hello in the chat. It'll be lovely to see you. Okay, um, so these half part, half planks, half mer, I can't even speak. Uh, these half planks um, just sort of break up the look of this thing a little bit. I'll change the angle in just a moment so that you can see a little bit better. Um, but the ones that I really like are these long ones because they don't really require very much. Literally, you just sort of measure it off. You snap it like that. Come over here, paint the edge. Now, because this is already carved as well, it breaks in a really nice sort of almost authentic way. Hopefully you can see that um, with the sort of light behind it. It sort of gives a decent um, silhouette. So yeah, it, it's kind of a rough break. Because it's already been carved, it sort of knows kind of where to break. Um, hey, the gaming Brit. Hello, Mr. Wizard. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you here. I know there's probably not very many people to talk to. The people who are watching don't seem to be terribly keen on uh, on saying hello or anything. But it's nice to see you here. Um, I've not seen you on my live streams before, I don't think. So, um, yeah, it's lovely to see you here. By the way, I am also going live tomorrow um, on this channel, and I'm going to be reading A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens all the way through from start to finish. So if you want to get spooky and Christmassy, um, then please do join me. It's going to be at 6 p.m. UK time on this channel. So where in the world are you then, the gaming Brit? I'm guessing probably Britain, because otherwise you wouldn't be the gaming Brit. But that doesn't mean that you're not on holidays. So <laughs> I do know that a lot of people are going away for... Christmas this year, probably because you haven't done or haven't been allowed to for the last couple of years. It's quite nice to have a bit of a change where we're allowed out and uh, allowed to socialise. I've noticed that getting tables in restaurants are uh, a little bit trickier than they have been for the last God knows how long. Uh, can you make me a potion, please? I'm new UK. Um, can I make you a potion? I could make you a potion. Um, we're not doing that right now because we're making a bar. Um, but yes, I will definitely, I, I'm going to be doing a lot more cocktail videos and potion videos and stuff like that. So yeah, absolutely. I'll be making uh, cocktails and stuff like that. That'd be awesome. And I'm looking forward to doing more of that stuff, actually. Right. Let's just break that. Oh, that's, ah, that's really bad. Okay. That's, I'm going to have to correct that. So what I've done, um, in the past actually is, because that one's at a really crazy angle so I'm just going to trim that off a little bit I like to get that sort of more organic look rather than just trimmed with a knife 
because um, otherwise it does look a little bit fake. Um, and I know it is fake, which is fine. Um, I don't mind it being fake as long as it doesn't look fake. Do you know what I mean? So this needs to be like a an old wizardy tavern. So that's what I like. Yeah, what sort of potion would you like then, the gaming Brit? Um, I want to get into wizardry. Cool. Um, yeah, so, yeah, tell me what sort of um, potion you would like to see, and I will certainly consider it, because um, it's the sort of thing I do want to do more of on this channel, that's for sure. Right, let's do this. So we'll put that one up first. And then this one. Yeah, so what sort of potion would you want to see? I was actually thinking of going through my spell book and, uh, and picking out some of the weirder ones and testing them out and seeing whether or not they work. I do also have some update news for you. Um, not specifically for you, but, you know, for people in general. That I was able to manifest stuff. Now, I've been going on a long time about getting a Chesterfield sofa to go with my Chesterfield armchair. Um, a luck potion. You know what? That was definitely on my list. A luck potion is definitely on my list. I do definitely want to do that. I say definitely too much. Definitely. <laughs> um, yes, I do want to do a luck potion. That would be cool. Like a liquid luck. Um, yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> Yeah, so with regard to um, manifesting, I've I've been going on about getting a Chesterfield sofa to go in the man cave with my Chesterfield armchair, and I manifested the Chesterfield armchair, which was really kind of weird and spooky, um, and I deliberately didn't manifest a sofa, and the reason being is I just didn't have enough room for it, and I thought if I manifest it, I'll be really disappointed because I won't have enough room um, having not done enough in the man cave um, to warrant it. Oh, those seagulls are loud. Hopefully you can't hear that on, on the uh, live stream. <laughs> they are really loud outside. Um, so yeah, I've now successfully manifested a uh, Chesterfield sofa to go with my armchair. I had to pay a little bit, but not very much. Um, but it, was, it wasn't something that I was looking to buy this year, even. Um, and then one of my friends said, hey, do you want one of these? And I was like, oh, yeah, cool. How much? And <laughs> turns out it was a lot less, a lot, lot less than I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, I was really impressed with it. I was expecting to have to pay about 500 quid. Turns out, including delivery, it was 90 pounds, um, which is awesome. So I'm really chuffed with it. OK. I think we'll do this side next, which can be broken off about here. Yeah, there we go. Probably a little bit lower than it needs to be, but never mind. Um, can I ask, do you have a wand or do you just do potions? Aha. I do have, I've got to be careful because my fingers are covered in paint. I do have a wand. In fact, I've actually got several wands here. Um, this one is my personal wand actually made for me. Um, so yes, I do have a wand. I, I have pretty much everything to do with wizardry, including a, uh, there's like an Aladdin's lamp and skulls and there's a cauldron up here. Hopefully you can see that on on the camera. I'm guessing the uh, the light bleed isn't particularly good at the moment, so... You know, I might just measure up everything and then do the gluing all in one, but I don't know. It seems to be working at the moment, and it's nice to have a chat as well. Um, yes, yeah, so I do have a, a magic wand. I've got potions. I've got I've got pretty much everything. In fact, over on the uh, on the wall is actually a Ouija board that I used to use as well. And I think I've done a video on Ouija boards. I'm pretty sure. In fact, no, I, I know I have. Wasn't a particularly good one. Might need to re-edit it. <laughs> but 
Okay. I have a Harry Potter wand. Would that work? Anything to direct um, your magical energy will work. Um, yeah, so I, I believe that anything will work as long as you have the right sort of attitude towards it. Um, a lot of people just use their fingers as well. <coughs> so they can then, um, they literally just point. Um, and again, you don't even need to direct it like that a lot of the time anyway. It just depends on what you're doing, really. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll work. It'll be fine. Um, just need to take that one off. Okay. All right. That's quite good. I'm trying to avoid wastage as much as I can, but I also want the place to look good. So I don't just want to use a piece of scrap wood or scrap foam that looks like wood um, just to make it, you know. Yeah, I don't I don't just want to use scrap just for the sake of using scrap. But at the same time, I don't want to use to leave a whole load of stuff that uh, that could otherwise be used. So if I can use it, I will use it. But I also need this to, to look kind of like a film set. Ultimately, I don't live in a wizard tavern. <laughs> um, this is just my garage. But at the same time, I want it to look like I want it to look real, you know, I want it to look good. So you often feel a lot more wizardy if you're wearing a wizard robe and you're in a wizardy space. Oh dear. I think I'm going to need to do some touch up work on some of these because, like I said earlier, um, my fingerprints have come off on them. So, yeah. There are four people now watching. So if you are there, please do say hello in the chat. Um, I think it's kind of, it looks a bit like comments. So if you're watching on a mobile device, have a look down down there or maybe on the side or something, depending on which orientation your phone is on. Um, and then you should be able to see me. And it would be nice to uh, sort of say hello and stuff. Okay. Let's, uh, nope. Hmm. I need something that's around about the right sort of size. Yeah, that should do it. And I'll break that one off about there. I mean, it's really easy to break this stuff, um, which is a, a good and a bad thing, because down on the corner there, my mum accidentally knocked something off when she was in here having a look and stuff. Um, but it is also really good to, to carve with. This is it's quite good fun to, uh, to use. The only problem with it is that it burns like crazy. So I've had to do some fireproofing on this um, to make sure that it's not going to suddenly burst into flames and cause some major problems here. I've got a fire alarm up there. I've got a fire extinguisher down there. Um, you know, we're all good. And it also has been fire uh, fireproofed. It's been painted prior to doing any of this live streaming stuff. Um, and if you want to double check, that's the fireproofing paint just there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm being responsible as much as I possibly can. Uh, bearing in mind that this is also going to be essentially a film set and it's going to have electricity and stuff all around it um you know i'm being sensible with the whole thing i'm insulating it and you know all that jazz is it that one i think it's that one i've, for I've forgotten to paint the other side right oops yeah, I think I'm going to need to do some touch-up paintwork once it's actually on the wall. But that's okay. As long as I don't have to paint the whole lot while I'm up here, because otherwise I'll be like Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. It's going to be a, a bit of a job. So, yeah. That doesn't look too bad. There we go. So I think in terms of going that way, I've almost gone as far as I can. Maybe one more. Just 
Keep talking, man. Keep saying stuff in the comments. Oh, we've gone down to one. Is that me? Just going to turn up the volume again. Just make sure that I am actually talking. Oh, oh it's gone down to one. Is that me? Yeah. We are still here, though. Surprising how people just don't even say goodbye these days. Oh, well. I mean, I know it's kind of, what is it, midday on a Tuesday? And it's just before Christmas, which definitely doesn't help. Our American cousins are not yet logged on, because they're probably still asleep. Or maybe going to work or something. Okay. Okay. All right. So that side is all done now. I'll turn the camera around a bit so that hopefully you can see kind of what we're doing here. So let's get that a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's really bleeding. That's not good. Okay, one second. Let's see if I can. This one. Bring this just here. So this is the bit that you probably would never ever see. And this behind the bar. Let me just adjust the tripod a bit. And then, so that's what I've just done just there, that part. Um, Alexa, man cave main light blue. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? So, that kind of gives a better feel, I think, for it. And then I'm just going to do this part just there. And then we can uh, hopefully put up the, uh, the glasses rack. So I'll just move the tripod a little bit. There we go. I am still here. Don't panic. I'll carry on talking for a little bit as well. Um, well, I'll carry on talking forever, I suppose, because this is a live stream after all, and it'll get very boring if I don't. Um, so I'm going to just measure that one up again. Break this off at just the right point, which is around about there. And then I'll paint the edge. Because we don't want that grey sticking out. Now the blue is actually quite good for this live stream, but it's not terribly good for finding what I need to do with regard to painting. So never mind. I'll just move the camera move the down here so you can see what I'm doing uh, with the glue. So I've got a glue gun like this. Um, this isn't a typical sort of crafty glue gun. This is more. Oh, what's that? That's weird. Why is that on there? Hmm. Strange. All right, first things first. Then let's uh, let's get that one sorted. I don't know where that glue came from. Now this, by the way, is some of the same stuff that this wood is made from, essentially. This is um, a spare piece of foam that I put over just to cover the bar and to protect the bar. Ultimately, I'm going to be doing some resin coating on top of this. Uh, so this is how you fix up um, the planks. Just do a small line of or a bead of uh, glue on either side and then straight down the middle. I put the lid back on because it oozes out everywhere and it's horrible and sticky and gunky and gross. All right. Then we'll put that up here. Oh, I think it may have come from there then. 
Three. There we go. Right, let's get rid of that one. Okay, so we're almost done with this. I think maybe one, possibly two more. And we should be, yeah. So one more, I think, will probably be it. And I'll snap it about here, which will then give us enough for a sort of half break. Paint the edge again. Drop it on the floor. <laughs> So if you're watching and this is the first time here, please do say hello. Um, in fact, if it isn't your first time here and if you're a regular or a returner, say hello anyway. It'd be lovely to say hello to people. I think one of the coolest things about the internet is that it connects people from everywhere. So if you don't know how to build a bar, uh, join the club because I don't know either. But <laughs> no, I will, I will try to explain what I'm doing as I go along. So these planks of foam, I'm just sticking up to the ceiling with some uh, sticks like Evo stick. Um, it's called sticks like SH asterisk T. So yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's called. Don't blame me. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized though, so I don't want to say what it sounds like. Um, in fact, I don't even know if this is monetized. <laughs> it's probably not. I may have forgotten to uh, put the monetization on. Hey, hey, never mind. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, so I think we're pretty much done. Maybe just one more little bit. Uh, just there. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. I'll snap that one. Okay. And then I'll paint both of these just on the edge, just there. I know I've said this before, it's just so that it doesn't peek through. Like that. Okay. Of course, it's like Twitch. I'm just talking to an empty room, but that's okay. I can edit all this together anyway for a more interesting video a bit later on, so I'm okay with that. But if you're watching, if this is the first time you've come along, then please do say hello. Um, it's going to get a little bit more interesting in just a moment because what I'm going to do I'm going to start carving stuff. I'm also going to be putting up the uh, rack. So, okay. I think that's looking really good now. I'll turn the camera up there. That is looking really awesome. Even if I do say so myself. So, this here, the plasterboard, is all going to be clad effectively like this. Um, but that's pretty much the uh, the archway done. So that's really cool. And then next thing to do is to um, turn on all the lights, touch up all of this little, you know, little bits and bobs. Like there's some fingerprints and stuff like that I need to take off. Um, and I do have some big brushes that I'm just going to go over everything with, just make sure it all looks good. But I'm not going to do that just yet because next thing I want to do is to put this one up. So this is the wine rack, or wine glasses rack, I should say. I keep on saying wine rack, don't know why. Um, this is the wine glasses rack, and that will hang from the archway. Now, it's all up there at the moment. It's all stuck, but it's not particularly strong. So what I want to do is to make sure that Whatever um, screws I use are going to go all the way through and it's going to be secure. So I need to make sure that I measure those properly and I use the, the correct uh, drywall screws. Now it's going up into MDF anyway, um, but I don't want it to go too high because I don't want it breaking into the next layer above. And I don't want it going too shallow so that all the wine glasses suddenly fall off there. That would be really bad. 
Um, so I'm going to use some drywall screws and I'm going to double check that they are the right size as well. Um, I'm also going to use black ones rather than silver ones, I think. Uh, again, I've got to measure to make sure that they are the right size. So I think they might even be a little bit too deep on there. Now, I, I, I wouldn't really want to uh, cause too many problems. Uh, right, so first things first, I'm going to put them through and then put a piece of foam there. Yeah, so that's a, probably a little bit too long. I do also have some other um, screws that I was provided with when I was given this thing. And I don't think they are quite long enough, which is interesting. So I'm probably going to need to use the silver ones, but then I can also paint over them as, as well to make sure that the silver isn't showing. And then I can just use the, uh, the normal silver ones and paint them black, which is probably what I'll do instead. Okay, all I need to do is to find, to find where I put them. I don't know where I put them. I've got four here, so that's okay. Now, they're not quite as long as the black ones, which is good. And then, yeah, that should be enough. That should be fine. Cool. So I'll use the silver ones instead, and I've got four of those just here. One, two, three, and four. Awesome. And the next thing I need to do is to get a screwdriver bit extension, um, which I'm sure I've got around here somewhere. Oh, Alexa, man cave main light, cool white. Ta da! Um, okay, 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 okay. And I've got the box. Somewhere around here. The most difficult bit when you're making a man cave like this from scratch and you've got everything in your man cave is finding stuff. So I do have everything nearby and I know I do, um, but it's finding it that's the problem often. So again, I've got an extender here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it's all gone. I really don't. This is bonkers. Oh dear. So hopefully I can just extend it like this. Hopefully this will work. Is it is it gonna work? No, it's not gonna work. Maybe I could use a different one. Maybe that one will work. Nope. Is that gonna work? Doesn't look like it. Well, that one. That one's definitely not going to work. Okay. Hmm. What do we do now then? Hmm. It's tricky because I need to make sure that it goes in. Um. Okay. None of these pieces are going to work. So I need to find the one piece that I know I've got nearby somewhere, but I can't quite find it. It's a screwdriver extender and it clips into this piece and it's gone walkies. So like I said, the, the worst bit of any man cave build, if you're kind of using the man cave at the same time, is finding the bits that you need when you need them. So I imagine it might actually be, because normally I put it in here, you see. That would be the best place for it to go. So this is why I'm putting things away as I do it. Um, but there was one piece that I didn't put away. And that's always, that's always the piece that you need, isn't it? Always. Not helpful at all. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I don't quite know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> it's nice to be around, though. It's nice for people to, you know, see what I'm doing, even if there is nobody seeing anything that I'm doing, because there's no one watching. Rude. Um, <laughs> I did have a couple of people on earlier. So, uh, you know, if you're coming in, if this is the first time you've seen anything, please do say hello. I like people who say hello. I don't quite know what I'm going to do then. I might just have to. Uh, I might need to do it with a hand screwdriver. I mean, that could work. Yeah, I might just do that. It's not the ideal way of doing it, and I certainly wouldn't want to do it. Um, yeah, I don't particularly want to do this, but. As it's the only way of getting it up there, I think it's probably the only way of doing it. So. Obviously, don't do it when it's loaded with, uh, with glasses and stuff like that. That would be stupid. Okay. I'll show you in a second, but for now, let's, let's do that. Now, it's always a good idea when you're putting things like this up to put them in opposite corners first. Like, like that. Whoa, that did not work. That did not go in properly, did it? Okay. Worth knowing. I'll make sure this one's a lot tighter. If I can. And hopefully that one will be a bit tighter. Um, this is where I regret not having the extender, <laughs> but you know, it's not the end of the world, it's just a bit annoying. Now that should at least hold it for now, but I'm going to need to double check it in a second. Make sure it's really gone in tight. That one's not going in at all. Interesting. Let's go slightly more beefy with one of those black ones. It doesn't matter too much if it goes through the other side. I know I said it did, but it kind of doesn't really. I just want to make sure that this is thorough, really. There we go. I'll also take this one out, I think. I'll, I'll replace them all with the black ones. And uh, at least you won't see them from this side. You will see it from the other side. Um, but it, that side is going to be covered anyway, so it's not the ideal or the right way of doing it, but 
that's one of the things about this is that it's going to be my way of doing it. Not always correct, but at least it works. And in fact, because of the way that I've done this, there's a two by four beam on the other side of this. So that one's not too bad. Um, these two, on the other hand, uh, they will be going up into a, basically a void. A void. Um, so they'll be going all the way through the void or through the, through the MDF into a void. So I'm not too bothered actually. At least it will be secure and that really is the main thing. I don't want these glasses falling over, falling off, um, causing any real problems. Cool. And let's do the last one. It's always nice having a backup plan as well. If you don't have the extender, a hand screwdriver will do the job. Just takes more effort. Bit of pushing, that should do the job. Oh, gosh. Okay, I've tugged on that fairly hard and it's not coming off. So I think I'm ready to start loading it with glasses, which is good. Ta-da! So I'm going to start loading it up with, let's do wine glasses first. There's a nice little martini glass, I'll put that on my third one. Now why did I put it on the third one? It's because I've got some more wine glasses just here. And I've also got some champagne flutes as well. Now I know I've only got two martini glasses, so that's okay. The champagne flutes can go up here first. Like that. And I know I've got some more of those as well, so I'll leave one row clear, I think. I've got a gin glass. Whoa. Um, Actually, I'll leave the champagne flutes just there and I'll put the gin glass up. And then I've got some coupe glasses, which are really nice for cocktails. So pop I've only got one gin balloon, so I'm going to put that there. Uh, which I know is a bit of a mess, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. And I've got some of these pina colada glasses as well. I have quite a few of these. So they can make up the rest. Two per row. And I've got a brandy glass as well. Right, so I think that's all looking pretty good now. So let's come over to the other side again and we can kind of see what's going on here. Right. So again, I know the man cave main light is going to be 
a bit blary. So let's cover that one so it doesn't lens flare everywhere. That's ultimately what we've done today. Next job, I'm going to uh, clad all of this stuff. Alexa, man cave main light blue. So the next job is up here. I'm going to put in essentially like a, um, a display box. And in there, I'm going to put all of my mandrakes and stuff. And then they're all going to be uh, lit with LEDs. So this is my man cave bar at the moment. The glasses are now up again. This is all clad. I think it's all looking good. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Right. I will see you again next time. Hello. I will see you again next time with some more magical awesomeness. But until next time, as always, stay magical.